G'day everyone, I'm glad you're here because in today's episode of Let's Remember we're covering a little game called Treasure Cove, released in 1992, developed and published by the Learning Company Incorporated. It is an, it is an educational logic puzzle game under the sea. Okay, here's a story. Uh, once upon a time, the Master of Mischief was chased away from Treasure Mountain and fled across the Rainbow Bridge to Invention Island. To keep from being followed, he used the last of his magic gold coins to destroy the bridge and scatter its gems into Treasure Cove. How long is this going to be? On the island, he built a workshop for his magic tricks. Soon he discovered that goobies, gooey creatures that live beneath the ocean sands, were a wonderful ingredient for his magic. To suck goobies from the sand into his workshop, the master of mischief invented the gooby tube. This time the master of mischief mischief's tricks have gone too far. The gooby tube is making holes in the ocean floor and the goobies are leaking out and polluting Treasure Cove. Oh no. Minnie the Minnow is sending out a call to the Super Seekers. Only they can plug the gooby tube holes, collect the gems to rebuild Rainbow Bridge, and put an end to the Master of Mischief's hazardous pranks. The adventure begins. How exciting. And there's me, I think. Uh, I, have, I have a few memories of this. I played it once many, many years ago. Well, maybe a few times. I really, really liked it as a kid. Oh, there's not enough letters. Okay, let's do this fancy fell. Now, the object of the game, if I remember. Oh, okay. Hi, I'm Minnie the Minnow. As your guide, I will give you new player hints to help you play the game. Use this to go left, right, swim, up, right, up, down, swim, up, down, blah, blah, blah. Alrighty. So I'm a uh, scuba diving fella or a lady space bar to squeeze my bubble pump and catch sea stars. Sea stars have light energy and clues to help you find gems in the pufferfish. Yes, pufferfish is the end goal, more or less. Well, kind of. Anyway, let's uh, press uh, space to capture a little starfish and then he gives me a little uh, question. I think nine fish is quite a lot, but I want you to guess. The number ten is more than nine. Which number here is less? Oh, this is tough. I don't know what age range this is for. I would guess maybe like five-year-olds or something. I don't care if I'm playing a game made for five-year-olds. I played it when I was around that age, so it's all good. It's all good. Let's catch me another starfish. Three oysters lay in a bed, waiting quietly. If two more came along, how many would there be? And uh, as you catch them and answer the questions, they give you clues. Now the bottom left, I've got two clues. Two blue. And that's uh, trying to tell me where I'm supposed to be shining my flashlight like this to uh, find where the puffer fish is hidden. So I've got to catch one more starfish to get a surefire... Oh crap, a gooby! He flew in my face and stole my light energy. Uh, i got to get one more clue to figure out where to shine my light. Let's find me another orange starfish. Because if you captured the pink starfish, um, I think that just gives you like light energy. So you trade one air energy for one light energy. Maybe we can go in this cave. What's in this cave here? Alright. Is there a starfish in here, I wonder? So we've got sea cucumber thingies and slugs, stingrays, and this is quite a pretty game. Very appealing graphically. Which is probably why I liked it when I was little. Gameplay isn't exactly thrilling, but it's alright, it's serviceable. For an educational game, it's pretty good. If you could call it educational, it's not that educational. Um, it's pretty, uh, you know, it's more of a game than an educational game, but it kind of does neither particularly well. So you may ask, why am I doing a video on it then? Well, because I made it a mission of mine to cover pretty much every DOS game that I... Oh, there's a starfish. That I remember as a kid, and we are actually coming close to f uh, finishing that up. Uh, let me just finish this question so I can get back on my train of thought. Fish are covered with scales, all slippery and thin. People don't have scales. Oh no, they are covered with skin. New clue is sponges. So we're looking for two blue sponges to shine a light on. 
Anyway, as I was saying, I wanted to do um, a video on every single game that I enjoyed as a kid, and there aren't many left now. There's only like uh, maybe two or three left. I'm not going to stop with this uh, Let's Remember series, don't worry, there are plenty of DOS games that uh, are still to come. You can always recommend me games, but there's also a bunch of huge ones that I never played that I have to look at. Uh, the most obvious one being Doom. So you can look forward to me playing uh, Doom, if me watching me playing uh, Treasure Cove is boring as all hell, I apologize. <laughs> but I wanted to do it, I don't care, I wanted to do it. Where are we going to find two blue sponges? Wait, were those things sponges? I thought they were like, well, they're not cucumbers, I guess I was wrong. There we go, there's our puffer fish. You, you found the puffer fish. When you are done looking for gems, find the gooby tube hole. Press enter to stuff the puffer fish in and go to the next area. All right, where do I find a gooby tube hole? A gooby tube hole. And if you shine a light on stuff that has nothing in it, you obviously get nothing except for the occasional gem. I don't know what gems actually do, I don't think they do anything. So it's, yeah, kind of a waste of time, I guess. I could be wrong though. Are there any Treasure Cove experts in the audience? I doubt it. I don't think many people have played this game. Oh, that looks like a gooby tube hole. What do I do? I wasn't paying attention before. Oh, press enter, okay. And we'll dump the puffer fish on the tube hole and he gets all massive and happy. Now what? Ooh, magic stuff. Oh, I remember this. Yeah, it's like a seahorse chariot that gets all big and plays this cool animation. Ah, uh, this is always uh, quite fulfilling to watch. For some reason, I always get excited when this screen came up. I remember that much. And now we're in like uh, the next area, which is not very different to the first area. I am a hungry fish. My dinners are just great. Tomorrow I will eat, and yesterday I ate. You're right, your new clue is three. It, could it be three crabs? Oh my god, we found it straight away. That is really quite rare to happen. Whoa, 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 whoa. We gotta go over here, because there's a clam sea star circus going on in here, apparently. Oh, look at this. <laughs> the starfish is all bouncing around on the sponges. And there's a dancing one. I want to capture it. Damn it, I can't. This is the place to be. It's all happening here at the Sea Star Circus. Whoa, I didn't pay to get in. Am I going to get in trouble for this? <laughs> oh, I'm a funny guy. What does this clue say? I've already... Whoops, I accidentally pressed the wrong button. That's okay, I don't need the clue, I've already got the, uh... I already got the damn puffer fish, I don't need you, starfish. Let's go stuff that puffer fish in the hole. And then I'll probably end this video, because you've pretty much... ...seen the first two, first level or two, you've seen it all. Except, unless there's more areas like the Sea Star Circus. I don't know, I have no idea, it's a mystery. But I'm not gonna sit here and play this for several hours to find out, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Whoa, that's a big whale. And a stupid gooby thing took my face. Light energy stuff. Alright, get him in the hole. Do I get another seahorse ride now? Oh no, I get eaten by the whale. Okay, that's good. Why is this cursor on the screen anyway? It's annoying. Is this annoying? Yeah, it's annoying. So the whale's kind of... Shooting water out of his blowhole, and now I'm in a new area! Oh, well, this is fairly unremarkable. I apologize, but I wanted to do a video on it. I've apologized enough times in this episode. But this was Treasure Cove! I would not recommend checking it out because you've seen it all already. Uh, next week, we'll do something. Well, not next week. Next week, I do a video every day. Next time on Let's Remember, we'll do something a lot more action-oriented. I promise. I promise. Don't hate me. Don't unsubscribe, please. I need your business. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Keep it fancy. And I will see you next time uh, for the stuff. <laughs>